In today's episode of The Insect Hunter, I'm going to show you how to handle a dragonfly without hurting yourself or hurting the specimen. Let's find out how to do it. Before we actually get to demonstrating how to do this, I want to explain to you why I made this video. First off, I love learning about insects and I appreciate all the comments that you guys gave me about how you thought I was misproperly handling the dragonfly. I really appreciate the constructive criticism and when people are respectful and they tell me that I'm doing something in a way that they don't think is right because it got me to talk with some other people and see if I was doing some things wrong. So I'll admit that the way I was handling them um, in my collecting dragonflies video might not have been the best. So I contacted an expert and they helped me to understand a little bit more about a good way to do it, but you also have to understand that there's no right or wrong way to do things. There's not a book that says this is the set way that you collect dragonflies or hold them without harming them. The information is based off of what has worked or what hasn't worked for a group of individuals, but there's no set way to do this. By making this video, I also wanna say that I'm not encouraging you to just go out and collect dragonflies and try this, but if you need to collect one and you don't want to harm it for educational purposes or for research or for some other important reason, then I want to show you how to do it so that you don't get hurt and so the dragonfly is taken care of. And I am a big proponent of catch and release collecting insects. That's what I do for the most of the time. I capture insects, I record them, I keep them alive for a little bit so I can film them and teach people about them, and then I usually let them go. So if you want to try a catch and release technique with a dragonfly, then this is a way that you could potentially do that. So first off, let's demonstrate how to do it here with my dragonfly I printed off here. I'll show you the technique to handle it properly. There are two techniques you're gonna to need to learn. First, there's the half hold and then the total fold. I know that those may sound kind of cheesy, but hopefully it helps you remember what to do. So for the half hold, um, once a dragonfly gets into your net and it's buzzing around, flying around, you are going to grab half of its wings and hold them. And you're gonna to wanna to hold them as close um, to the thorax as you can. So you're gonna get as close as you can. Hold on to that. You wanna hold on to it uh, firmly, but you don't want to twist or anything like that. You don't have to like, you know, crush it, but you know, you do want to be a little bit firm to make sure it's not going to fly out of there. After you have done the hold, you're going to do the total fold. So what that means is you're going to take the other half of its wings and you're going to fold them like this. And then uh, you're going to hold it like this. So you've got them totally folded above it. And then you're going to hold on to that tight and you want to get down as close to the thorax as you can so it can't flail around. You don't want to fold it while it's inside of the net because you could accidentally break the wings as you're folding it into a piece of cloth or something. So you want to pull it out of the net like this and then from there you're going to do the total fold. You fold it over and then there you go. You've got control of it and you want to hold on firmly and tightly to make sure it's not going to get away. And there's no way it can bite you or it can't get away with its wings. It's not going to harm itself. So this is one of the ways you could do that. So let's go try it in the field. Awesome. This is the sound I love. That's the sound of money. No, it's a dragonfly actually. It's his wings beating up against this thing. Okay, I'm gonna do my best to make this so you can see what I'm doing. But really you've just gotta remember what I showed you with the little dummy thing that I had. Okay, so I've got my fingers. On its wings. And I'm pulling them out, and there it is. There is the mighty dragonfly. You can see he is flailing around a lot. That's probably not good for him, so I'm gonna take his other side. We've done the hold. Got some grass in here. Okay, got done the hold, now we're gonna do the fold. Take that other side with that finger, get it in there with my thumb. Hold on to that tight, get rid of that. And there we go, he is held in place. And uh, he's all right, there's no way he can bite me. There's no way he can get away or hurt himself. He can try to flap his wings, but he's pretty well held in place. So this is uh, a great way to hold a dragonfly, 
prevent harm to yourself and prevent harm to the dragonfly. So let's let this guy go. Um, I'm going to put him on my hand. Hopefully he doesn't bite me. I, I think I'll be fine. He's going to want to just fly away as soon as he can. So here we go, buddy. Good luck. Best luck. Oh, he's just chilling. Nice. Thanks for watching this episode, everybody. Please give me a like if you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what insect you specifically want me to go out and collect next and show you guys how to collect. And I'll take that into account. And make sure you subscribe to The Insect Hunter, where big adventures start small so that we can go on even more adventures together. I also want to give a big shout out to the Texas A&M University Entomology Department for the awesome help they've given me through the years. They helped me to become an entomologist and I've been able to reach out to the experts there time and time again to get help from them. They've got an awesome department and awesome program to learn about insects. So special thanks to them and the University of Idaho for helping fund all this equipment that I've got in order to make these awesome videos for you guys.